פרשת החרמות, אהרון הכהן גץ במצווה. והמצווה is, ועל יבוא בכל עת אל הקודש אל מבית לפרוכת. He's commanded to go into קודש הקודשים only one time a year, which is on יום הכיפורים, the holiest day of the year. And that's after the preparations that the Mishnah in Masachat Yuma explains, מפרישים כהן גדול, they would separate the כהן גדול, they would be secluded for seven days before, focusing on Kedusha V'tara, learning all of the works and the, the jobs that he had to do in the Kodesh HaKadoshim, on Yom Kippur, the Ketoret, the different Shechita, Kabbalah, Ovaas, Asmacha, all the different jobs that he had to do as a Kohen Gadol on Yom Kippur. And Rashi explains, what's the reason for Aaron HaKohen only being allowed to go into the Kodesh HaKadoshim one time a year? Rashi says the words, Lefi shegilui shechinati sham. Hashem says, The reason why Aaron HaKohen cannot go into Kodesh HaKadoshim more than once is because my shechina, my divine presence is there and yizahir shelo yargi lavo. He should be careful not to, not to be used to go, going in there. And therefore, going in once a year is enough. And there's also a pirush on um, the Mishnah in Masachet Avot that says, this is the Lashon. Ki kpid Hashem yidbarach shelo yirei hashar shete peamim. HaKadosh Baruch Hu was very careful that the Kuen Gadol would not see the gates of the Kodesh HaKodeshim more than two times, more than one time. He shouldn't see it two times, only to see it once. Why? He's going to compare the gates and the, the, the doors and the walls of the Kodesh HaKodeshim to his own walls and to his own house. And the walls of the Bet HaMikdash of the Kodesh HaKodeshim, he's going to compare it to his own walls. And if you think about it, that, that, like Ad Kedei Kach, to that extent where Chas V'Shalom, if the Aaron HaKohen went into the Kodesh HaKodeshim two times, he would view the Kodesh HaKodeshim in such a degrading matter. He would look at the Kodesh HaKodeshim the same way he would look at his house. And that's what Rechaim Shumavit says in Sichot Musar. He says, from here we see how careful one has to be when it comes to Koach HaHeragel. Koach HaHeragel means to Chas V'Shalom not do a mitzvah out of habit. Out of routine. Meaning to say is that if a person does a mitzvah one time, he's super careful with that mitzvah. He focuses on that mitzvah. He prepares for that mitzvah. He has a cheshek for that mitzvah. He has a connection to that mitzvah. He's a little nervous before that mitzvah in, in a good way. And chas v'shalom, if you does that mitzvah too often, ki v'yachol, meaning if he, if, he, if he does that, if he engages that mitzvah too many times, he would sort of lose the focus, lose the Kedusha of that mitzvah, and chas v'shalom would be mezalzel. He would chas v'shalom end up being degrading the mitzvah. And that's a big yisod that the Torah is teaching us. The reason why Aaron HaKohen can only go into Kodesh HaKadoshim one time is because if he went in two times, he would chas v'shalom view the Kodesh HaKadoshim in a lower way, not only in a lower manner, in a degrading way. He would compare it to his own house. Which is something that when we obviously were simple people, regular people, and we're not going into Kodesh HaKodeshim, and we're not going into the, the holiest of holiest on, on Yom HaKippurim. But what we are doing is we have mitzvot, we have Shabbat, we have Kashrut, we have Torah, we have Tfilin, we have Tzitzit, we have many different mitzvot that we do. And Chachamim are telling us that if we are not careful to focus on the mitzvah, and if we're not careful to really look at what we're doing and think about what we're doing, we can chas v'shalom be mezalzel in the mitzvah that we're doing. That's what the Torah is saying, v'al yavo b'cholet, meaning be careful when doing any sort of mitzvah, not to do it out of routine, not to do it out of habit, because you'll end up being mezalzel in the mitzvah. And that's something practical that we can all take into our own lives. For sure, serving HaKadosh Baruch Hu is not an easy thing. And, you know, getting up every single day and going to that minyan and going to that shiu and going, keeping up with those quotas and keeping up with that chavuta and whatever it is and all the different challenges a person faces every single day. It's not an easy thing. But the yisod is to try to focus on the mitzvah and connect to the mitzvah and motivate ourselves by thinking about what we're doing. Thinking about what we're, we're about. Thinking about what our focus is, what our goal is. And the more we do that, the more we'll have hana'a in the mitzvah the more we'll want to do it again, and the more sipok and satisfaction we'll have after the fact 
And chas v'shalom, we wouldn't be nichshal in being mizanzel in the mitzvot because of serving Hashem, chas v'shalom out of routine. So Hashem, Hashem should help us to serve Him out of havana, out of metikut, out of simcha, and b'zal Hashem nizkeh ligula shlema, Shabbat shalom.